It is July 1st. It is also the first day of Camp NaNoWriMo, and I have foolishly, very likely foolishly, uh, decided to participate. And not only that, but July has 31 days, November has 30, so why not go for the full 50,000? Camp NaNoWriMo is a little different from November's uh, Nano NaNoWriMo, the official NaNoWriMo, uh, in the with the camps, you can pick your word count that you're going to aim for, and like I said, I'm I'm going going big, going big or going home. I'm probably going home, but I'm already there, so whatever. It is already 6:30 essentially, 6:28 uh, in the evening. I have around 30 minutes that I could try and write um, and, and I'm just sitting down to do so before I have a virtual meeting <laughs> that will take the rest of the night. Wish me luck! <laughs> day two did not go so well for NaNoWriMo. It is now day three. Yesterday I wrote, I think it was a little over a hundred words and today I'm spending my time studying Loma. I have a course that expires in uh, literally a couple weeks and I'm still on the first module of four. So I don't know that much writing is going to get done today either. Yeah, I enjoy doing this to myself apparently. Choosing to do NaNoWriMo and go for the max and knowing that I have a snowball's chance in hell of making it. But we're still attempting it anyways. Hi, it's the 5th of July. I only wrote a few words this morning. No, I still haven't updated the... I should update the NaNoWriMo website before I forget, but... I am falling majorly behind. Are we surprised? No, we're not. Will I make it up somewhere? We'll see. Why am I singing? I don't know. It is July 6th. I just got home from work. Like an hour after I wanted to. Okay, I guess 45 minutes for being picky. Uh, I am just booting up my computer. And there goes singing again and getting into my draft for my novel and we're gonna write some more. I only wrote like a hundred something words this morning. Did not do well this morning. So we're gonna try to take the nasty little voice that I don't know what the frick I'm doing, which is true, but we're gonna put him to the side right now and in a timeout and he's gonna be locked up and we're just not gonna listen to him right now. We're just gonna word vomit or something. And we're gonna knock this out. Hi, it's July 7th. I don't want to talk about um, how many words I wrote today because it, it's not a lot. But I wrote. So it counts.
I'm sure I'm wearing orange, but this is where we're doing it. Uh, it is Tuesday, the 12th. 12th day of Camp NaNoWriMo. And I think we're hitting the danger zone. Although yesterday I almost hit 5,000 words. Uh, so I actually wrote what I needed to write yesterday for a daily goal and went over. It doesn't look like I'm going to come close today because I need to get ready for tomorrow and then probably just go straight to bed because we're at the end of the day. So I'm getting worried a bit if I'm going to hit the 50,000 words. But I was worried from the start of this, so if I don't hit it, I won't exactly be surprised. I'll be surprised if I hit it, but that doesn't mean I'm not trying. Am I happy with the progress of my story? Overall, yes. Am I happy with the progress made today? No. No, I am not. I tried to write. I couldn't remember where I was trying to go with the zine I was writing. And there's some other crap going on and I just couldn't think. I just vegged out on YouTube videos. But I wrote something. It is Friday the 15th of July. We are at the halfway point, essentially. I mean, July's 31 days, so it's like 15 and a half would technically be the halfway point, but so we're, we're basically at the halfway point. You, you can't really count half a day, anyways. I guess I could. I left the light on. Um, I am not halfway to 50,000 words though. Uh, far from it, in fact. I need another like 15,000 to be at the halfway point. Uh, as predicted, I did not get any writing done yesterday. Uh, still have a few more, actually many more clips uh, to look through for the whatever thon vlog. And I have to finish editing that. And it sounds like my parents are coming over tomorrow, so I don't know what is going to happen writing-wise tomorrow, but I'm still plugging away at it. Uh, it is 10.40 at night now. And I was going to see how many words I could get done before I completely crash and have to go to bed. My sister is just now getting on to a computer game. The, the Steam notification just popped up. I didn't even realize. I was logged into Steam. Uh, I don't play, really. But we used to play some games as a family. Anyways. This clip is probably starting to be way too long, so I'm just I'm just gonna go. I'm, I'm killing my writing time before I crash, so we're gonna write. So, it is Saturday, July 16th. It's going to be a busy day, and it's another day that I don't think I'm going to get much writing done because I was stupid and kind of like on the work days completely forgot about Loma. So I have six lessons and two exams due in like three days, including today. So that's going to be my focus. Uh, and we're also doing some home improvement because my parents are available and so they're actually packing up and will be on their way over shortly. Things about to get crazy. But we're doing it! I'm still aiming for the 50,000! After these three, three days of craziness because Loma, uh, in theory I can focus on the writing and the books on my July TBR which I've only finished one of so far. This is Sunday the 17th, whatever today is, it's a Sunday, I know that much. I have finished my Loma course, <laughs> and I have finished painting a whole bunch of case molding. There's more on top of the hockey net, there's some back there on top of the beds, and there's more in that room. And I have done all of that today. Okay, not all of that today. Uh, the ones in there and some of the ones on the hockey net. I did the second coat on those. Actually, except for four of them, I did the second coat this morning and then I did 
just finished the second coat on these. Now, I did the first coat, uh, what, like around five o'clock or something? I had to wait for those to be dry enough I could move them. Anyways, no writing has been done yet, but I think it's early enough in the evening that I can like maybe take a 20 minute nap because I am brain dead, I feel, and maybe get some writing done. But holy crap, I am so far behind right now, I don't even want to think about it. And if I somehow manage to pull this off, I have to look back at my past selves and go, what the flip was I doing? Because holy hell, this has been a month. But that's what I'm going to do. go do now, I think, is I'm going to go put on some comfy clothes and write for the rest of the evening possibly read some because I haven't done that in a while either. Really quick because I just pulled in work. <laughs> it is Tuesday, July something. I have lost all track of time. Uh, I'm about to head into work. It's a Tuesday so we're at the office and no reading, no reading, no writing got done yesterday. No reading really got done either. I've been listening to an audiobook. Um, the, the carpal tunnel has not been, been great. Uh, I, I don't know what's happening, so I'll probably need to make a doctor appointment of some kind or something, um, to see if there's something more I can be doing, because even the wrist braces are no longer working. Uh, I really don't know what more to say, just life got crazy. And yesterday, I think I just needed to, like, forget about all the stuff that I would like to get done this month. So I basically just played a game on my phone for most of the night. I found another idle game that I am apparently hooked on now. Whatever. Um, will some writing get done later today? I don't know. We'll probably have to find out. I'm gonna try because I really want to give this a good effort to hit that 50,000 and I don't even think I'm at 11. I know I'm close to 11,000 in the document but I don't even know that I've hit 10,000 for this month. I'd have to look at my sheet again. Yeah so I'm going to go to work now and get this day over with and then head home and hopefully write some. Yeah. Bye! Okay, I think you can kind of see that. So I just figured out you can you can split Scrivener and look at the, the cards for like the scenes that you want to do. So I also want to take some time to edit what I have in those scenes because there's a lot still from my previous or old attempt at this story that I didn't finish the last time attempted either. Um, but through writing I've kind of changed the plot a bit, so I'm going to try and clean that up at least a little bit quickly. It is 9.30, basically, and we're just, I'm finally getting, I'm apparently a night owl, so I'm just getting into the zone kind of thing. Uh, I do have the morning off tomorrow, so I'm hoping to use that for some writing time, maybe catch up, but I'm also low-key worried about a project I have for work that I might have to put in some time over the weekend so that I can finish and or at least be far enough along in it for a meeting that I have about it on Monday. Um, so life might once again get in the way, but I'm going to give it my all. I think that was a firecracker. I hope that was a firecracker. Um, what was I saying? So I'm going to give it my all, but I am uh, low-key also worried that I'm not even going to get to the halfway point again because it is the 20th. We have 11 days left and I'm not even to the halfway point as far as word count goes to the 50,000 goal that I set myself.
the, the, this, this is becoming, oh goody, we're setting off fireworks again. And this is just kind of, um, where I'm at, yeah. I don't know that nano is for me, apparently, because I can never find the time to get that amount of words in. Uh, I can find the time. I've done pretty good at writing at least a few hundred words every day, so I've been writing. I just haven't been writing a whole lot. So I'm also not reading a whole lot this month because my time is spent trying to figure this out and I'm not as experienced, I guess. And so, I don't know, I need to find some help somewhere because I know things are wrong. I don't always know how to fix them though. Or if something works, if something doesn't work. It's funny because as I'm reading a story, I know what works. And I sometimes have ideas of how it could be better. But when I'm working on my own stuff, that's not what I feel. Anyways, um, before the fireworks get crazy, I'm going to go and I'm going to get to writing and go before the noise gets too annoying or distracting for this clip. Hopefully we're in focus this time. I actually already filmed this clip, but I watched it back and I was not in focus for like the first bit of it. So trying this again. Getting a later start than we wanted to, I had some issues with carpal tunnel this morning. Uh, my left hand specifically, the tingles did not want to stop. I actually got to the point where I YouTubed carpal tunnel syndrome, found some exercises uh, that kind of helped uh, the tingles go away, and some of them kind of reminded me of like yoga moves and poses, and I'm like, huh. I see why they recommend yoga for carpal tunnel syndrome, or I've heard anyways. Um, so that suddenly got me in the mood to do yoga, so I pulled out my mat, I hope you can see it, and I got out my laptop, and I put on a uh, yoga workout from Fit On, and I just finished that. Now I'm gonna go hit the shower and get to the grocery store and hopefully get some writing in before I have to start work. Because we really need to fluff up that word count <laughs> to get to the 50,000 by the end of the month. Okay, it is July 24th and I have a new reason I'm not getting anything done. Oh, now he walks away. <laughs> I got tired of waiting for you. He keeps coming to the door and uh, he doesn't usually do that. So I have, of course, been spending all my time with the puppy. But anyways, it is Sunday, unfortunately, so I have to go back to work tomorrow. I've done very little actual writing today. Uh, I feel like I need to change the time period that the story is taking place somehow. So my dilemma is like I picture this happening in like a castle or palace type deal. Um, we have been trained as readers that if it takes place in a castle we are in like Victorian or medieval times. So I've been trying to write in that time period. I cannot write in that time period though. Like I, when I picture like the castle or the palace or something, I picture it in like today's time with like a Queen Elizabeth kind of deal. You know, she's still here. There's still a monarchy. She doesn't reign exactly, but she lives in a palace. And people still live and maintain the the castles that were built in the the past time, but um, um, like the uh, I can't think of the name of it now. But the castle that um, now I'm blanking on the show too. Lost the name of the castle. Lost the name of the show. 
something alley, whatever. Anyways, there's a show on down, Downton Abbey, that, that's what it is. There's a castle that two people live in and maintain and Downton Abbey has um, paid for and is working in like only certain rooms or something. So like I picture it in this time frame but as readers this would likely not be acceptable. So I have to figure out what time period this should be taking place in. Thus my writing has been very slow lately because um, I know I'm changing the time period and so I don't want to get like too far or write certain scenes that like I'm going to have to be like hey they're in this room of the palace or castle or whatever when it's all gonna have to change so I'm limited on what scenes I can do since most of it was supposed to take place in the castle Anyways, um, so yeah, so not much writing has been done. I don't know that knowing that I need to change the time period, I'm going to get a whole lot more writing done before the end of the month or at all. Um, but I shall ponder. Uh, I also want to get back to reading some. Uh, I was actually just taking a break. Um, from my conundrum of time period and was actually working on my reading tracker trying to... I've never actually finished logging all the books that I own, uh, so I was trying to do that and modify it a bit so that it works better with how I want to track my reading. But I think since he was here asking for attention and he was was patiently waiting for like the 20th time in the last 60 minutes. Uh, <laughs> I will take another break and uh, go play with the puppies some more and I will check in with you tomorrow. So I was going to do a wrap up as I made my way to the office, but we were having technical difficulties. Um, so Camp NaNoWriMo is now over and I seriously failed. I think I've done worse before, but I have also never, I don't think I've ever attempted the full 50,000 in a camp, so I, I think in terms of ratio this is my worst fail, but I, I have done worse in terms of total word count. Um, I didn't even write 10,000 words. Uh, the last time I looked at the spreadsheet, I don't think I had 10,000 words written in the month. Total in the story, I have over 10,000, but uh, in terms of what I wrote in July, I did not write 10,000. This was kind of due to, I think, like, poor planning. I joined at the last second. I was still working some stuff out with the story. I did work some stuff out with the story just by, like, writing it a bit. Um, so in that sense, it was good and productive. Um, but I don't really have the full story set, so I don't know what is happening, and I'm more of a planner. Um, I also made some changes to the story, though, so I need to change that. Um, and something I don't think I've really mentioned in the updates, I was trying to like play it low key. My carpal tunnel in the month of July decided to like go from like barely there kind of deal to like, hello. Um, there were several mornings, like most of the month. I was waking up and my pain was like a 9 out of 10. I, it was bad and like I couldn't feel my fingers, it was all tingly, um, not all the fingers with carpal tunnel, it's actually just like from your half of your ring finger over through your thumb. Um, but so like those fingers were all tingly, they were like 100% asleep, 
I could not wake them up, so to speak. Uh, so it was just bad. Uh, so I, I couldn't write. Uh, I am, as of yesterday, uh, exploring some dictation uh, software, so hopefully that will help. Um, I, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. It drives me nuts. I've tried dictation software in the past. It drives me nuts that you have to say like comma, period, new line, open quotes, close quotes, and so there's going to be a lot of like open quotes and da 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 and close quotes through the the dictation of the story, but I probably could have been doing that while going, please wake up, come on, oh my god, you hurt, come on, I know, stop. Uh, <laughs> so, sorry, I'm laughing because I imagine I, I looked pretty funny there. Um, but yeah, so poor planning, last second, joining, um, Carpal Tunnel being a total monster. Self-doubt played a small role. I was actually managing that pretty well. I'd say the Carpal Tunnel was more the monster than self-doubt. I had some other stuff I had to do. Um, I worked late a couple times. I had a class I had to finish for work, um, and that took two weekends. I think, and I also didn't take many days off of work. I only took three, I think, in the entire month, uh, so I probably could have taken more off if I wanted to. Um, I have the PTO, um, but so we'll see. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do nano in November. Um, I will probably be foolish and do it again, but as of right now, I'm not officially saying that I'm doing it or not, but I mean, let's face it, I probably will end up attempting it again. Um, I came really close. Um, my first, I think it was my first attempt, it was my first or second attempt where I had almost 40,000 words written. Um, but then one of my coworkers um, lost a parent, and I was working basically 24/7, um, filling in for her because I was still new to the what we were doing. Um, so it was taking me a lot longer um, to do that. So my last like week was just doing that 24/7, um, including the weekends. So. Um, I, I would like to attempt it again. Do I think I could have written the 10,000 or whatever needed in the last few days, whatever, that I had that first round? Yes, I probably could have, because um, I think there was a weekend in there. I know there was a weekend where I was reviewing, but I, I, doing um, the stuff for my coworker, but anyways, so that's kind of the wrap up. I, I feel like I rambled there, but it's a wrap up. I kind of covered the month, um, what I can improve on next time. Um, and yeah, I'll probably see you in November. I'm not officially saying, but let's face it. I, like I said, I probably will try again. So I will see you in a another video whenever I have another video. <laughs> DTFN.